Hello friends. Today we are going to understand product classification in marketing in detail with different examples in each point. Marketers have traditionally classified products based on durability and tangibility, consumer goods and industrial goods. So now let us study each category with sub points in detail. Category A Durability and Tangibility Products are classified as non-durable goods, durable goods and services on the basis of durability and tangibility. Number 1. Non-durable goods Non-durable goods are tangible goods normally consumed in one or a few uses such as soft drinks and soap. Because these goods are purchased frequently, the appropriate strategy is to make them available in many locations, charge only a small market and advertise heavily to induce trail and build preference. Number 2. Durable Goods Durable goods are tangible goods that normally survive many uses. For example, refrigerator, machine tools and clothing. Durable products normally require more personal selling and service, command a higher margin and require more seller guarantees. Number 3. Services Service is intangible, inspirable, variable and perishable product. As a result, they normally require more quality control, supplier credibility and adoptability. For example, haircuts, legal advice and appliance repairs. Category B Consumer Goods Classifications Based on consumer buying patterns, marketers group consumer goods into four categories. Convenience, Shopping, Speciality and Unsought Goods Number 1. Convenience Goods Convenience goods are those which consumer purchase frequently, immediately and with a minimum effort. Example, soft drinks, soap and newspapers. There are three sub points in convenience goods, staple goods, impulse goods and emergency goods. Number 1. Staple goods Staple goods are those which consumer purchase on the regular basis. A buyer might routinely purchase Colgate toothpaste, Dove soap and Parleji biscuits. Number 2. Impulse goods Impulse goods are purchased without any planning or search efforts. For example, chocolates and potato chips. Number 3. Emergency goods Emergency goods are purchased when a need is urgent. Umbrellas and raincoats with the advent of monsoon pullovers, sweaters with the advent of winter. Now second sub point under consumer goods classification is shopping goods. Shopping goods are those that the consumer characteristically compares on such basis as suitability, quality, price and style. Example, furniture, clothing, used cars. Number 3. Speciality goods. Speciality goods have unique characteristic or brand identification for which a sufficient number of buyers are willing to make a special purchasing efforts. Example, photographic equipment and man suits. Number 4. Unsought goods. Unsought goods are these goods which consumer does not know about or does not normally think of buying such as smoke detectors. Example, life insurance and reference books. These goods are requiring advertising and personal selling supports. Category C Industrial Goods Classification Industrial goods can be classified based on relative cost and how they enter the production process. There are three sub points in this category material and parts, capital items and supplies, and business services. Number 1. Materials and Parts They are the goods that enter the manufacturer's product completely. They fall into two categories, raw materials and manufactured materials and parts. Raw material goods falls into two major groups. 
farm products, wheat, cotton, fruit and vegetables and natural products, fish, lumber, crude, petroleum, iron. Manufactured materials and parts fall into two categories. Component materials, iron, yarn, cement, wires and component parts. Small motors, tires, castings. Number 2. Capital items. They are long-lasting goods that facilitate developing or managing the finished product. They include two groups, installations and equipment. Installations consist of buildings and heavy equipments, generator drill presses, mainframe from the producers. Whole sales force includes technical personnel and a long negotiation period precedes the typical sales. Equipment comprises portable factory equipment and tools, hand tools, lift trucks and office equipment, personal computers, desks. These types of equipment do not become part of a finished product. They have a shorter life than installations but a longer life than operating supplies. Third, supplies and business services. They are short-term goods and services that facilitate developing or managing the finished product. Supplies are of two kinds, maintenance and repair items, paint, nails, brooms and operating supplies, lubricants, coals, writing papers and pencils. Business services include maintenance and repair services, window cleaning, copier repair and business advisory services, legal, management consulting, advertising. So these were the points covered in my video. Thanks for watching my video.